I started to think about the title of this final episode, which is What You Leave Behind. And I started to think, what have we left behind? We've wanted to make a Star Trek show that would satisfy a Star Trek audience, but different. We had this big black captain in your face. America, come and look at me and I'm running your show and this is the face of it. One of the things that attracted me about the Star Trek was that I would be human, completely human and brown too. See? It was dark and dirty and the characters didn't all get along. Nothing was black and white. She was a terrorist. The show spoke about nuances of war that people don't know. It was something totally different in the world of Star Trek. If people aren't bothered by it or don't like it, you're doing something wrong. With all due respect, Deep Space Nine is not really Star Trek. It's not true. We did wonderful, painful work. It was often very painful to do. It pissed us off. I did feel like Alice in Wonderland being dropped into this amazing world. I never felt appreciated on the show. <laughs> I think there was a serious intent about the work, perhaps a more serious intent. Oh, well, I didn't know that because it seemed very funny to me. That anger is mine! You can't have it! I don't think that ever happened. Don't dismiss me! Talk to me! Only the people involved know the facts. No, this is Rashomon. Rashomon. It's Rashomon. Then we have no you know, idea. Everybody I'm has so a glad I asked this question. Next. We're in Vegas right now with a ton of people downstairs. They love the show. It just took them 20 years to get here. It went where no one has gone before. It pursued the journey inside, not the journey out. I wish I could go back and relive that just one more time. It was like a family on the show, you know? It was like a family on the show. That seven years changed my life. That's very emotional, you know? Guess what? This is Deep Space Nine. Don't get too comfortable. <laughs>